In this little video, we have a look at a slightly different subject, but still related to signalling. We're at the Gloucestershire and Warwickshire Steam Railway on their Railway 200 weekend, where they're exhibiting their different departments, the S&T, the P-Way, etc. And we're going to have a look at the S&T's stand, which includes two live demonstrations on four aspects signalling and also on a small passing loop. Both work from Raspberry Pi Little Circuits. So without further ado, let's take a look and see what the railway offers. So you got it working off a little circuit there? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It's, just, it's, not rasp, it's not a Raspberry Pi, is it? It is, yeah. it is Raspberry it's Pi. It's a Pico, so it's the very... The older ones. It's, it's the very simple version. Yeah. yeah. So four aspect signalling with a little track yeah. circuit demonstration. Well, perhaps not something you'd necessarily get on the heritage railway, but the idea is that we can use it to show people how as a, as a train moves along the uh, track, the signal aspects change to reflect its position. Unfortunately, the yellows are quite dim, so you have to sort yes. of at the end to see what's going on. Brilliant. This one demonstrates uh, how the uh, interlocking works. So, um, for example, if I want to send the train through, these points aren't locked. And these points aren't set the right way, so currently I can't signal it through. Yep. Just get a bleep if I try and do it. So if I lock these points and set the other points the right way, I can now get the signals. Uh, and yes. working distant, just like a real distant, unless all the stop signals are clear, I can't pull the distant. When I clear the stop signals, now the distant works. And now these are locked reversed, so I can't put them back. Until I've put the distance back, so I can send the train through. Distance back. <laughs> Is that just done with a little Raspberry Pi as well? Yeah, it's another, there's another one of those underneath it. <laughs> Clever. <coughs> what have you used for locking your levers? Just little solenoids. Uh, no, they're not actually locked at all. It just um, refuses oh. to do anything if you um, go against the locking. So, like, if I try and move these points. Right, yes, yes. Unfortunately, the beep has gone very quiet. <laughs> With the noise in the background, you can hardly hear it. But it makes you put the lever back to where it was before you can continue. That's brilliant. It has a quality. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just going to be easier. Could, could could be on way, way, yeah. Just so I've got it in my head. So when, this is Tommy Yeah. So that's, this is how it works at Michigan. So, and we normally bring up train, train from Cheltenham first. So, yeah. what I'm going to do is I need to set the loop the right way. So, I need both points set. It's alright, go on, good. Yeah. And they need to be. So, we hope you enjoyed that very small demonstration of four aspect signalling and passing loop as done by the volunteers of the Gloucestershire and Warwickshire ST department.